Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, it's your boy Dion Mo Damu told me back with another video. Today we're watching um, a video by uh, Abba, Abba and Preach, Andrew Tate, self-snitching hard on camera. Judge denies appeals because of video and text evidence. Alright, um, never watched Abba and Preach before, so we're going to check that out. But, um, I mean, I heard Andrew Tate got arrested, and you know, not, you know, and... I mean, was for traffic, like some trafficking, some shit, whatever. Um, I not whatever to the crime, but you know, some shit like that. But um, yeah, I mean, um, look, I get it. He was some of y'all's guys' heroes. Um, I remember when I used to, when I reacted to some of his, like his masculinity, whatever, whatever type of videos I was watching. Um, about Andrew Tate. Um. I had a few people in my comments that was um, that was for Andrew Tate, so you, some of y'all niggas was wilding. So um, uh, this y'all top G right here. So <laughs> let's uh, let's get into it. He's talking to one of the victims. You're not stupid, and you can probably guess how I make so much money. I have to hide what I'm really doing. And the victim says the webcam, and he says. I've been doing this for a long time with a team of girls working on video chat. The company was fake, but this is how I laundered my dirty money. Oh shit. Some of the girls who worked for me, I used them to do other things. To move money or illegal things, documents. And I will never do that with you. <laughs> Why is it like that? Tate's in prison in Romania. Yep. Some people say he's innocent, other people say he's guilty. And you guys remember us? We said that we'll tell the evidence tell comes out, guilty, we'll find out. Well, a lot of evidence has been coming out. That prosecutor's office in Romania has been leaking a lot. And uh, <laughs> how can you be a prosecutor's office and leaking that much? Let's always do it. They really? do it on purpose. Yeah, yeah. They leak what they want to the press. You have to understand. It's a whole game. Winning a case for them is not just winning a case. There's a lot of ego involved. These people want to win these big cases. But they got when the FBI says it's got a, what, 96, 98 conviction rate, the reason why is because they like that shit on their resume. They take on cases they know they're going to win, yeah. and they only put forth the case yeah. when they know they're going to win. Yeah. And so this kind of thing right here, have you seen what they leaked? No, I haven't seen what they leaked. Listen, they didn't prosecute Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate prosecuted Andrew Tate. My homie was self-snitching. Oh, that bad. Watch the tape. No, basically, watch the tape. Self snitching. Trafficking. We have three things force, fraud, or coercion. Force, obviously, that's like being in chains and, you know, not being allowed to leave. Fraud, being kept there under false pretenses. If there's an element of fraud in the way that you are enticing Stop somebody or keeping somebody in fuck? a particular position to work for you, and if it's in the sex business, that's sex trafficking or coercion. Let's kind of look at one of his very first videos that he did. These are his words, not my words. When you say webcam company, people assume, oh, it's just a sex fest. But in reality, it's a shitload of people management. The HR category of the webcam business is, is the largest and most important thing. You're effectively taking girls, teaching them how to make unlimited money from home, and then make... Uh, this is Andrew Tato, Aiden Ross, you know what I'm saying? All right. Make sure they give it all to you. Your goal is to inspire a girl to make money. So the way you're gonna do that is, you have to have some element of influence and you're gonna have that element of influence through her respecting you, looking up to you and her believing she needs you. And this is extremely important because at the beginning she will need you, but then she won't need you. But you have to keep that fallacy, keep that dream alive. Fallacy, that's his word. And what is fallacy? Fraud. Pretty much that's he pimping. Oh uh, yeah, I'm about to say he pimping. That's that's exactly what a pimp does. I knew some street pimps. I've known them for a long time. Of course, straight street pimping is a completely. In fact, no, it's not a completely different game. The psychological aspect is the same. She can't do this without you. To ensure that she doesn't do it without you. At the beginning, she can, but there'll become a point she can. But you being here. Bruh. It synergizes this teamwork energy. We're gonna do this together. Yeah, you go on the camera. Don't worry, I'll talk to the guys. I'm gonna talk to them. We're a team. Happy, positive teamwork. There's no negative energy in this business. You imagine you talking to this hot blonde girl and you webcam with her and you send her messages and you find out it's actually just a bald headed top G on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> 
You thought you were talking to a bitch named Mercedes? <laughs> Third eyes a nigga obsessed with Bugatti. I'm just saying. That's why. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason Catfish. why I'm having this face is because the amount I didn't realize how much foot and mouth could contain. Oh, oh, he's fucking up. Oh, oh, they got all the receipts on this guy. I think it's worse. Yeah, he is. You have to be positive. So by you typing for the girl, you maximize your money, and also she believes she needs you, which is extremely important. Another reason to use Shadowbank is because you, they will pay you in Bitcoin, and this is amazing because. The, you've all seen the thought audit shit that's going on. You've all seen the fucking legalities of banking. Trying to get money out of these sites into your bank without paying a shitload of tax is actually very difficult. See, it's that, that whole avoiding taxes. And, it, and it's not legal to do that. So in the last six months, chat rate have released the Bitcoin options. So they'll pay you in Bitcoin. Tax is also another important element for controlling your woman. You're not going to pay anybody tax because you're getting paid in Bitcoin. So you don't need to pay tax to anybody. Tell your girl that you're paying the tax. Because girls are lazy and girls are stupid. And girls don't understand how taxes work. So the girl's working with you, and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, we made this much money, but I'm gonna pay the tax to make sure we don't get in trouble. She'll sit there and go, okay, okay. Now that allows you to do two things. One, it's another control element. I work with him, my tax is not a problem. If I do it alone, I have to deal with taxes. Taxes are complicated. It allows you to pay her a smaller percentage. So I used to pay my girls 30%. Oh, shit. So for every $10,000 they made, I give them three, and I keep seven. They thought they were on 50%. And I said that the disparity is because of taxes. So you're on 50%, we get to pay the tax first, and then it's 50-50. So really you're paying 30, you tell them you're paying 50, the difference is in the tax. That's where the disparity lies, taxes. If you, they don't believe you, or they wanna get fresh or whatever, print out some tax forms. I see this all the time, I just print out some random tax forms and say, yeah, sign here and sign this. What is it? It's for the tax, you wanna pay the tax or not? Ooh, okay, and they just sign away. I don't know what the fuck I'm signing. Let's throw them away afterwards. But they, they think something's happening. Something real is happening. Nothing's happening. So I need to rich bitch. So we started. All right, he's already admitted this to nigga. tax evasion and fraud. I mean, it's not a mission. He's. This is a course he's running. He's teaching people. That's what he's teaching. He doesn't mean he's doing that. Now. 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 I'm just playing devil's. <laughs> it's, it's a very hard true. job. I'm you just, could be I'm talking not, shit on the camera. Mm. <laughs> so, 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 so. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> he said that's what he was doing with these girls. That's what he said he was doing. Yeah. The women saying he did this to us. Oh, for real? I ain't know all that. What, you think they're going to look at the bank records and see that the money, oh, he was paying them 50-50? What you think? Let's be honest. Oh. If someone admits to what they're doing, just believe them. But to his defense, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, he's self-snitching. So what you're telling me is that they got him on frauding the girls and defrauding the government. Is that what you're saying? I just want you guys to understand, oh, yeah, like, done. just here. We're not even going to the human track. Just right there. This man was stealing from the people that were working for him. Right there. He didn't even care. He said, I'm getting rich, bitch. Fuck you. He didn't care. He was stealing from it. If that's your job, how would you feel about that? Would you not want this person to charge for that crime? Listen, if my Definitely. employer even stole $1 an hour from me, I'd be pissed. Thousands every single month? Something real is happening. Nothing's happening except me get rich, bitch. You have to girls. You do not do a business relationship with a female. And I'll tell you why. Women have sex with somebody. If they're not fucking you, they're fucking somebody else. And that other person she's fucking is going to have the control over her mind, as opposed to you. And if he controls her mind and you don't control her mind, once she starts to pick it up a bit after a few weeks, a few months, whatever, and realizes how to make money on her own, or she's going to run off and pay her boyfriend, or them two are going to go traveling in Southeast Asia and she's going to work as she goes, or she's going to go to her boyfriend and say, look, fuck it, you type for me. Oh yeah, but you're always working. I have to do some traveling and you can't come. I want to bring you with me. Traveling is a great one because the thing about this business is mobile. If you can find a good Airbnb with good internet, you can run it somewhere else. So it's a good little caveat to throw in. Oh, uh, and you're always working. Why don't you work for me so we spend more time together? Or if you doing what? Say a lot of webcam business. Oh, I don't want to do that. So, okay, I know you don't want to do that, but listen, come, let's have a meeting. Let's just talk about it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. Fine. But let me explain it to you properly. In fact, I'll bring one of the girls who works for me. You, your bottom bitch, the new girl, you go out for fucking a nice dinner. Your bottom you. bitch is the one who does the selling. You don't do the selling. You, the bottom the girl bitch. Has to hear from and this is where your bottom just to be trained. That's why I said it's so important to have a good first girl. Remember Glenn Maxwell? That was the girl that recruited for Jeffrey Epstein. Almost identical to what he's talking about here. 
You guys remember. Okay. So th this is why this is important, this portion right here. It doesn't prove anything, but it is one of the little pieces of evidence that they add in for the whole trafficking charge. Basically, he he has a woman, okay, who used to be a former police officer in Romania. She's the one who does the recruiting, the managing of the women. Why? Because women are much more likely to be roped into these kinds of things if they're hearing it from another woman. So when he sets up his organization, right, because they're accusing him of running a criminal organization. He has the woman who he calls his bottom bit, right? to uh, recruit the other women. Okay, now, there's some transcripts, because they did some wiretaps, they see their phone, they see all their technology. So there's some oh, conversations that they're shit. using now. I want you to also know the context of the country's in. Andrew Tate is a foreigner living in Romania as a rich person. Trying to get, trying to fucking steal from the government? And he's also spoken about the reason why he left the UK to go to Romania is because, you know what I mean? La, la, laws are a little bit lax they're not like it's not as repressive so this is how he talks about romania and going to jail there okay this is this is pulled from his pc and then it was leaked to the press okay so this is something that they got romanian court so there's a oh no not a court in romania dude they're corruption free as we all know they put me in jail i'm gonna walk in there with a pile of money like this Put that nigga in jail then. Get me out of jail. So law says you're guilty. I said get me out of jail. Don't go see a lawyer to talk about the law. I have committed multiple felonies. How much does it cost to make this all go away? Also, when you're real G's that you're here, you're there, you're everywhere. You gotta go to Poland, you gotta go to Warsaw, fucking Dubai, Miami. Anyone who watches State Confidential knows I'm all over the place. So I end up with all these chicks just stuck in their house, sitting there, bored, completely in love with me. And of course, they don't go out. They're not allowed out. You stay in the out. house. You don't go nowhere. You know, no restaurants, no clubs, nothing. But here's even the kicker. Looking at private videos that are the part of the police file, uh, from the con see the following passages from the context of this content, there is no doubt a deep lack of respect for the legal norms and a total indifference to the social protected values that the defendant gives proof of. Also, the attitude of disregard towards women in general, which he perceives only as a mean of getting his content released. In other words, making money. Mm. The judge cannot agree with the support of the defense in the sense that the video contents presents only one character and cannot be taken into account since the defendant exhibits the same attitude in the relations with the injured persons and is evident from the content of the conversations that are in these criminal prosecution files. Basically the judge like, nah, the way you act in real life is how you're talking about these videos. So I'm not going to not use them as evidence. I cannot use them as evidence because they match. Let's get to the transcripts. Cuz people are saying- Wait, 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 you got more? Oh man, when I say, listen, and, and just a pro tip, if you're a criminal watching, Look, when fucked up Andrew Tate, that nigga did so many podcasts, in, whatever he was doing, interviews with Aiden, and he was just everywhere, and he shed a lot of shit, and now that all that shit is coming back to get him, you know what I'm saying, and he could be capping through all that shit, but he probably wasn't, so he's about to... He's about to be in there for a long time. See, do not use WhatsApp, okay? Do not use WhatsApp to do any of your criminal activity. They keep a record. There are records, there are logs, and it's easily traceable. Okay? Bro, I'm gonna tell you this. Don't use your phone. Do not use your phone. I'm talking about, I've had friends that were in instances where they crossed the borders and they have certain um, software that could tap in your phone and get the deleted items you can always go get the deleted items so that's the reason why they have burner phones don't use your phone actually you have to use a phone crack it and keep on going you know those flip phones that's pretty much what you would have to use all right but, so yeah i digress so these are these are well, leaked transcripts from for the, the stenographer help, either in the court case or leaked from the prosecutor's office the reason why they're doing this is they like the media attention being involved in this prosecutor may probably have some ego involved and he wants to let everybody know i'm going to be the person who takes down Andrew exactly. tate and listen it only matters if he's got evidence to back it up and he's done some digging and it seems that during their eight months of searching and their uh raids on the compound they found quite a lot oh yeah. my god Okay, so this is how Andrew Tate apparently manipulates one of the victims into flying to Romania by promising marriage. Then discusses said victim as a commodity to be used for making money. Andrew Tate says, you have to understand what the, once you're mine, you'll might be mine forever. A woman never leaves her man, and I'll be the last man in your life. What do we do if we fall in love and I kidnap you to bring you to Bucharest? Huh? And then the girl replies, I don't think it's kidnapping if I want to come. 
First, I have to see in your eyes that you will never be able to live without me. And then I can trust you to show you everything. Bring a ring when you come. This is what the girl said. He says, can you be loving enough to be a wife? To always be on my side wherever I go to talk to zero men besides me? I'm who who is it? This, 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 this they Riz right here? Y'all Riz right here? Crazy. Let's go. You have to move to Romania with me to keep an eye on you. Your mind. Don't ever forget that. And she says, but can I trust you? He says, yes, you can. We'll meet in Romania, and I want to know you're committed and serious about marriage. Yes, I'm serious. And when she gets there, he's like, well, we're not getting married. I want to turn you into a cam girl. Okay. So they're basically establishing that the way that he's getting these people involved in the whole business is through fraud. And if you remember what the guy said earlier in regards to some of the cri criteria that need to be met. Okay. And one of them is fraud. And that's what they're trying to establish with these conversations when they're released. So even though this conversation doesn't seem bad to you, you have to understand by the letter of the law and how they define human trafficking. This is one of those elements that they might incorporate in order to make that charge stick. Basically, he wasn't telling these people, hey, I'm running a can business, come down. He's like, I want to marry you. You're going to fall in love with me. You're going to fall in love with me. He gets them all the way down to Romania inside of his compound. Then he springs it on him with who? His bottom. So Andrew Tate says, you're not stupid. And, you, and he's talking to one of the victims. You're not stupid. And you can probably guess how I make so much money. I have to hide what I'm really doing. And the victim says, the webcam? And he says, I've been doing this for a long time with a team of girls working on video chat. The company was fake, but this is how I laundered my dirty money. Damn, Some of the girls who worked for me, I use them to do other things. <laughs> Why are you looking at him like that? Money or illegal things, documents. And I will never do that with you. Basically telling the girl, you're different from the others. I make them do the really illegal stuff. Again, they have Tap. it right here in the wiretaps. Okay? The him admitting to this stuff. This is going to be used in court. And you're going to have a hard time explaining this one away. What is this money laundering that you were doing? You can't go to the court and be like, hey, what happened was... <laughs> <laughs> scratch your head and yeah. push it out. Okay, so now here comes the next part. This is the, I think the biggest one. Tate's angels, meaning the bottom, the two women. <laughs> I mean, that's what they call them, bro. What y'all want to say? This is what it reads. Charlie's, they don't want to say hoes? Hey, man, listen. These are the women who work for him. They're the Glay Maxwells. If you don't make money, we're going to have a problem. Punch yourself in the mouth until I arrive, because then I'll give you another 10, you incurable slacker. What the, the fuck? The other girl says, I'll break you when I get there. And the victim says, what did I do? And the bottom is, you have one hour and 10 minutes to disappear. And the victim says, but what did I do? You're down 20% four days since you posted. And she says, if Andrew looks to see you, if you posted TikToks, you won't even have time to pack. You're flying off the balcony straight away. So oh, what does this conversation really mean? This is where this is important. Get, Might not mean much to y'all because like, well, mob like, boss. when they're taking this in, con in conjunction with everything else, the fraud element involved, the coercion element, the aspect of like lying about what they're really going to be doing there. The fact that this girl who works for Tate is saying he, she's going to be punching the girl 10 times when she gets there, that there's these threats of violence. The one saying like, Andrew Tate gets home, you're going to be flying off the balcony. Is that literally? Probably not. But there is some element there of threats of potential violence if you don't do what's needed. When you take that to court, and these are conversations that are happening in private, you understand? They're gonna take this into strong consideration when they're making their case. They're gonna be like, how do you explain this stuff? Oh, we're just joking. We're not gonna actually make her, well then why is the victim terrified? Oh, she's just lying and making, you think that's gonna really be a real defense in court? <clears throat> you know, Hell no. Is, um, there's some people that are not gonna believe that. Of course. There's gonna be a lot of guys that are gonna be like, yeah, it ain't that bad, it ain't that bad. And you know why? Because they actually talk like that. They talk like that with their girls. The girls, I'm saying guys, but I'm talking, girls do the same shit. Oh my God, I, oh my God, I swear, I'm gonna punch you in your mouth. And people talk like that on a regular basis. I was astonished at the fact, the language that some people use with their friends or with their loved ones. Yeah, but it's just, I'm just talking. It's just this, it's just that. Whenever you talk to them or whenever you check them, so like, yo, listen, you cannot talk to me any kind of way. You can't talk to me about you're gonna punch me in my face. You can't tell me that you're gonna kick me in my throat. You can't do shit like that. Ah, but you know, man, I'm just, it's just, it's just talk. It ain't, it ain't real. These people are gonna be super motivated. I feel that. Tate moved from the UK to Romania because the justice in the UK said it was too prejudicial and they were going to come after him strong. Romania is more lax. You went to Romania, acted a fool, want to say anything and, and do Romania anything. Romania got your ass now, illegal activity. Listen, you fucked around and you found out. You got to hold that down. <clears throat> Nobody told you to self-snitch. That's out. not fucked around. 
That's not like fucking people around. just That's... getting on camera and just calmly admitting to criminal activity is so crazy to me. People say, "Why would anybody do that? Why would people do that and be a public personality?" Because some people got ego. Because some people don't know how to stay away from the fucking cameras because they head too big. Look at Sam Bank for Freed, right? Dude ran FTX. Turned out to be a big old fraudster. After the fraud was discovered, you know what this idiot was doing? He was getting on live television, doing interviews, incriminating himself further. And those interviews that he did after being found out are going to be used against him in court. Why? Because some people can't stop themselves from doing stupid fucking things. And I'm sure if he had a lawyer at the time and caught, like, telling him what to do, they would say, don't do any interviews. But he couldn't help himself. Why? Because his ego. ego. I'm just really here to see where it goes. I'm going to see where it goes. Because like Abba said, if that's what they're leaking to the press, they got some bigger thing. Bangers. Bars. Jail bars. But they got something bigger. And what they're going to do to court is going to be something else. Yep. It's going to be something crazier. If that's what they choose to leak to court, anyways, all that to say, I'll wait. I'll stand by here. Mm. It's just there's a lot there's a lot of Kanye complex that I call whenever you go on a podcast and you say I'm gonna say whatever the hell I want and they still they, they can't they can't they can't un they can't unwork with me and then he said some outlandish shit and it was like well let's drop your ass and everybody mm. started dropping mm. and nobody wants to work that's the same kind of complex hey I can walk in this country and do whatever the hell I want I can pay this I can pay that I can do this 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 top G in the building yeah yeah. <laughs> And then this will happen. And now he's in a Romanian jail cell with 30 other dudes in a toilet in the middle where everyone got to watch each other's shit. Hey, listen. But it don't look good. Hey, listen. Take him to jail. Once I seen that video of him snitching, I said, it don't matter what I think. You know what it looked like? I know he didn't pay his taxes. One, because he said he didn't pay his taxes. he didn't pay people. And he didn't pay people. Because he admits to stealing their money. That's so. not even if they can prove that he was abusing motherfuckers. Forget if they, that. If they can... Just, just, just... Yeah, I understand that. Just on those two... On the basis of those two things... Oh, he oh, done. Whew, it's just like a tuna casserole. It don't look good. Nope. He done. I ain't gonna lie, Andrew Tate, man. You had a nice run. Like, you had a nice run. A little, you had, like, a nice year, too, whatever. Um... From, if, if all these uh, allegations and the transcripts, scripts, my fault, transcripts, um, text messages and shit are true, you done. Like I don't, I don't, know. I don't know what can save you right now, bro. I don't know. You done. I guess you ain't go fight Jake Paul. I guess um, probably have to forfeit that. Um, Um, but anyway, shout out to Ab and Preach. And um, if you like my reaction, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.